The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, a special video today, one that I've not done in a very long time and it is a Lego investing haul. So yes, I'm very excited for this one. Uh, really, I just I love buying Lego. Uh, I've neglected it for a very, very long time, uh, mainly because I've been working on other investments and things like that and the business and all the rest of it. So, um, yeah. I've kind of, I've, I've not really had the money to, to actually divulge in Lego, but now I thought, well, I still don't, to be honest, if I'm being very honest, but I thought, I'll buy a little bit, um, and, and that'll be that, and that'll have to be that. Um, but, yeah, it's very hard to just buy a little bit. You've got to be very careful, because you can easily get in that trap of, of buying literally tons, like absolutely tons. Um, and this relative is kind of a little bit compared to what I was doing if you saw the other hauls and stuff. Um, I was buying quite a lot at one time. Um, but yeah, so we'll go through this. I've got prices wrote down as well, so you know what I paid for them, if there's any discount that I got, all that sort of stuff. You can see we've got a couple of boxes from Lego Shop at home, and we've got a couple of items from Amazon on the top there. So first off, I'll do these that are out of the boxes. So we've got this Lego friend set. This was going for £20.98, and pence and it retails for £40, so it's like a 47, 48% discount, something like that. And I don't normally buy friends, to be honest, although sometimes they can do well, obviously, as they retire and after they've retired. But I thought, you know what, for that level of discount, I've got to just have a go and buy a couple of these. So it's a little bit outside my comfort zone in terms of investing, because as I say, I don't really... I did used to buy a little bit of friends, but it's not really the thing that I'm most comfortable uh, with with purchasing for investment. But I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll take a, a chance on these, considering there's such a big discount. Um, and yeah, so it's just simply like a little... I don't know, it's a little uh, sort of workshop type place like a little uh, bike workshop type place quite an interesting little set uh, obviously a lot of people will have a lot of fun with this set uh, you can see some kids having a lot of fun with this set but yeah so that's that one there couple of them as i say so i'll whack them on the bed and then we'll get these boxes opened up so i've just got the little uh, ties off these boxes sometimes they're really really hard to take off but i've got them off now and uh, let's get in to this box let's see what we've got so we've got a little uh, invoice in here first off. I, it's always annoying to me why they don't put the price on the Lego invoices. I've always found that really bizarre. Um, I like, I would really like it if they put the price on there because then I wouldn't have to go into my order history before this video and write it down. Instead, I could just look at the price on there, but I suppose. Anyway, if they don't do it, they don't do it. So we've got a few bits and bobs here. Now the reason I bought off Lego Shop at Home in this case was because there was two freebies on at the same time. And whenever there's two freebies on at the same time, I'm just going to buy for retail price on some of the sets that I really think are going to do okay anyway. And get the free gifts because the free gifts then mean that you've kind of got a discount on the other sets that you buy at retail price. Because you can sell the free gifts and then obviously uh, it works out that the other things that you paid retail price for you end up getting a little bit off them because of the money you've made from the free gifts. So, we've got a few bit, we've got a fair few bits and bobs in here. Um, I did mention these on the other video and I did pull the trigger on a few of these. Possibly a little bit early to be honest. I'd have to double check on Bricks actually to see uh, how long these have been going. But it might be a bit early to really be investing these because they're probably not quite near the end of the run. But you can see we've got this uh, 76896 Nissan GTR uh, Nismo, or I think, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that set there. And that was retail price uh, 17 And as I say, uh, I didn't get any money off that. But obviously I've got the free gifts that I'll share with you in a minute. So I didn't just get one of those. Uh, I got two there. And also, I got a third one. So I've got three of those. So I'll pull the three gifts. I think actually the three gifts are all that's left in here. So first three gift with this nice Lego Speed Champions poly bag. I don't even know whether we've got a Speed Champions poly bag before today. I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe. Um, maybe Lego have done a Speed Champions poly bag before, but. I know we've done a lot of creator poly bags that have been cars and things like that, but I don't know whether we've done a Speed Champions poly bag that's been a car. If you know, let me know down below, but I don't know whether we have. So yeah, that's, uh, I think it's the Evo, is it Evo 5 or something? 
Oh no, it just says Evo. Lamborghini, um, I can't even pronounce that. Huracano Super Trovio Evo. Yeah, all right, cars aren't my thing. Um, although they do well in Lego, so you're obviously gonna buy them. So yeah, that's a nice little poly bag there. I think this was going for around eight to 10 pound on eBay. I think we might have checked on that other video. If you haven't seen, out, seen the other video, I did a video uh, about basically how I go about my process of investing in Lego, how I actually obviously scout out Lego sets to buy, how I uh, basically get on and be able to see something that potentially will do well after it retires and how I can potentially make a bit of money on it. So that's all in that video if you want to check that one out. And then the other free gift, which to be honest isn't an incredible free gift or anything, but it is quite a big one. I mean, I don't know how many pieces are in this because I don't think Lego put a piece count on the uh, UK set. I'm pretty sure we don't. Anyway, some circumstances we do. Um, but you can see there's probably quite a few pieces in that. So it's not terrible. It's just the fact that it's not really a, a certain theme. It's just a kind of a 12 in 1 type set. Now, I don't know how much this is going for on eBay. I did see the other day, actually that one was going on bids for, it didn't sell, it, it probably got about three or four days left, but it was on about five or six quid. I would assume this would be going for around 15 quid or something. I wouldn't expect much less than that, to be honest, on a set like this. Um, although it's nothing incredible, uh, you know, as I say, there are probably quite a lot of pieces in there and stuff. And so I would expect around that, but you never know, it might be going for a little bit more than that. So I don't know whether I'm going to sell those two free gifts now or whether I'm going to leave it till possibly Christmas. I'm not, I'm not certain, but those are those two there. I've got another two of the same free gifts in this big box here. So you can see I've got a big old box here to open next. So let's get on and open this one. Now, I don't like the look of this box because it's got a, a dint in the side there. Can you see that dint there? So I don't particularly like the look of that because I don't really want the sets to be damaged particularly. But, you know, if that's how it is, that's how it is. Obviously, if a set is really damaged, I might be able to sort something out with Lego, obviously send one back or something like that. But it doesn't look like a crazy damage to the box, so we might be all right. We should be okay with that. And bear in mind, this has got two layers of cardboard as well. There's this one and then the one underneath, so we'll, we'll see with this one. Right, I've got to get this big box open here. Um... Yeah, I think I think we might be all right actually. We might be just about okay with this one. Uh, we've got some airbag things, you know, the air sacks. I do love the air sacks for using in my uh, business actually, my reselling and that. Um, so, uh, uh, creative from right. Okay, cool. Again, just an invoice there. Um, so, we've got another one of the creative fun sets, um, 12 in 1 rebuild into, you know, all these different things. So again, there's that one, I will get a bit of money back from that, so that'll go towards paying, or, or kind of, well yeah, kind of paying for the order in a way as well, you, you could also think about it like that. And then I've got another uh, Speed Champions Evo there. And then we've got a few of these uh, Toy Story 4 sets here. Uh, I think this is like a Duke Kaboom one. And these were clearance about 20 or 30% off, I think. They were just in the sale. And to be honest, they're not... I, I can't see these doing incredibly well uh, in the long-term market or anything. But I thought, you know what? I've not bought any Toy Story 4 sets. And I would like to have a couple... I say that they won't do that well, but I've been caught out before with things. I've said to myself, oh, these things are going to do really well, and they haven't. And I've also said to myself, these things are going to flop and not do very well, and then they've done really well. So at, at the current moment, I don't think these are, are doing it incredibly well or anything, but that's not to say a couple of years down the line, they won't do a little bit better. But I thought 30% off. And considering I've got the free gifts in there as well, which probably takes these down to about 40% off, something like that. I thought, you know, that's our, our half decent buying price. Um, and we've got Woody and we've got this Duke, Duke Kaboom. I think the retail price, because I didn't actually say that, was 15 99 And I think I got them for £11-ish, so it, it was 30% off basically, so whatever, whatever that was. Um, but yeah, so I've got three of those in total. I thought, since we were in the sale, let's uh, bag myself a few of those. So there's another one of them. And then there's another. And then the one I'm very excited about that I do think will do well in the secondary market, obviously, after retirement. And, as I say, I've, 
I've kind of I've got this for retail price, but because of the free gifts again, it'll it'll kind of lower the price a little bit. So I've kind of got it for a small discount in in theory, really. But yeah, so I've got this is a very cool set. I love dinosaurs myself. I think dinosaurs are awesome. Um, and it's the Lego Ideas Dinosaur Fossil set, and I think this is an absolute brilliant little set. I think I really do. I really do like this little set. Um, it's 21 free 20 now this retails for £54.99 in the UK um, and I'd say I got it for retail um, so yeah I'm, I'm really really happy with that set it'll be tempting whenever I buy a Lego, Lego Ideas set because I used to build Lego Ideas sets quite a lot because before I invested in Lego I used to build Lego and so it's hard now not to actually build some of the sets but the only thing that I really struggle with is Lego Ideas sets, because I really like the Lego Ideas sets. And most things on here, I'm not going to be tempted to build. I don't really care for the friends that much. It's just not really... If, if anyone else does, that's perfectly fine, but it's just not really my kind of thing. The story, Toy Story stuff, again, it's probably not really my type of thing, but the Lego Ideas, things like that, I really like. And so it is hard, especially with this being Lego Ideas and Dinosaurs. That's really, really hard for me to to kind of wheel myself in and not actually open this up. But yeah, so um, there's uh, that one there. So that is everything. So that is my little haul. What I'll do is I'll put it up on the uh, desk like a lot of the Lego haul guys do. We'll arrange it nicely on here and then I will wrap up the video. There we are, as you can see, that is the Lego haul today. Uh, we've got some Speed Champions, Lego Ideas, uh, a couple of freebies and stuff here, friend sets, and the Toy Story 4. So I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I will be back for another Lego haul at some point. These aren't going to be incredibly frequent as they were a few years ago, but I do plan on doing a few more um, over the coming months, or over the, well, over really the, the span of uh, the next year or so as well. Um, but it's going to be really whenever I've got a bit of money spare and the hauls might be smaller as well They may not be as big as they once were um, But this is not a bad haul. This is a few, you know, a few little bits and bobs here uh, It's certainly kind of like a medium size haul in, in my sort of range So with that being said, I'll leave it there Don't forget to give it a like if you will Comment down below, are you a Lego investor? Do you do this? Do you want to get involved with Lego investing? Drop it down below and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.